While in the South Atlantic and with complicated weather, Armel Le Clash is still resisting Alex Thompson's catching up. Upon the Cape Horn, contestants benefit from better conditions to breathe a little. This is the case of the two Finisterre chaps, Yann Eliès and Jean Lecam, sailing practically side by side and in great conversation. Oh, did you see how Thompson caught up on Armel? Well, oh, Armel must be really pissed off. No shit. This boat, did you see at what speed it crossed all the way down? I couldn't believe my eyes. For me, there's this boat and all the others. Yes, it hurts somewhere. I'd love to do a Vendée Globe with such a boat. One last one with a fast boat like that. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, Jan, have a nice afternoon. See you at the beach. All right. A cool beer on the terrace. See you tonight for the aperitif. All right, let's do that. Bye now. 4,800 kilometers further in the heart of the Pacific, change of atmosphere for the New Zealander Conrad Coleman, who succeeded getting ahead of a huge Austro storm. That why I hang out back here. At the back of the depression, this pack of six competitors had had to slow down to avoid the hurricane and can now resume the race. It just cleared a bit, but a little while ago, there was heavy, I mean, heavy rain. 43 knots. The boat went surfing, and there's water all over. And there you tell yourself, Gosh, how is all this holding together? Here's Auckland Island. Some say you can't see much on the Vendée Globe. There's a lot to see. And finally, let's note that Sébastien Destremont lost his last place to Peter Hiramont, who's been having problems with his automatic piloting and with electronics. <laughs> 